my mom growing up talked rarely ever about anything that was bad, always something that was good, always the positive side of things, even though we had very little. So when one grows around this environment, they kind of look at the positive side automatically. And obviously the world knows I've been down several times, homeless before. But when you get really, really down and you're so low that when you look up, all you can see is an ant walking along, well, all you can do is go up. <laughs> you can't <get> <laughs> These cats are from the Northeast, they haven't ridden, so we want to get their wheels under them, so to speak. Just Plus, it's a good place to ride. It's almost a perfect morning. It's going to be righteous. When I'm the one way, feel like a car. Take off the top now, well, I'm going to stop. Each bike is an expression of the rider's personality, which is kind of cool. Kind of like a fingerprint. No two are exactly alike. The red Ducati right there is mine. This one's my wife's. This year we've been married 21 years. I'm gonna say probably 18 of those years we've been riding together. I've been riding ever since I was 16 and got my first license and got my first ticket the same day. Hey Charles, Charles rolling from Maryland. We have Germans, we have English, we have Americans. Everyone's here to see the world become a better place. It's a bad boy. This is year number 12. Uh, it started when John Paul and I were up in Georgetown. And we were coming back and we just lost an officer, a good police officer here, because he had basically saved a woman's life off duty and they fired him for discharging his weapon. So we said, how can we help these guys? First responders are that important. Putting their life in the line of duty for people they don't even know because that's what their job is and they do with great pride. So Greg Truett was the officer's name. And he got fired. Mm -hmm. And John Paul and I were talking Sorry. about it and he said, exactly, this isn't right, we have to do something. So it's a matter of, hey, my birthday's coming up. JP, what are you gonna do for your birthday? I've been really, really blessed. I'm very, very grateful. Why don't we do something for somebody else? Right, everybody, huddle up as close as you can. Let's talk about our route today because there's a couple things you need to know. Anybody like a copy of the map? We put together a ride because that's what we love to do as friends. And so we just started this ride to give money back to the 100 Club. We're, we're doing 81 miles. How much gas you got? Oh, oh, he was the one going to Exxon. Huh? take the map. <laughs> oh, we, got <laughs> we got one. Once a year we get together down here. We come to Austin. But it just over the years, it just friendship grows. It's a... Uh, Inexplicable, but real simple. When he talks about love, peace, and happiness, that's kind of what makes it work. Uh, we got John Paul's rat rod, which if you don't know what a rat rod is, a 40 pickup truck. It had a tree growing out of the fender, and it looks like Mater from Cars, but it's really cool, it's dropped in love. <laughs> it's got a big that heavy duty Chevy truck motor in this little tiny truck. Why not do something where all of you like each other and you're peaceful about it? There's got to be harmony, you got to be respectful of one another. Be peace. The love part is love is the most important thing and it's the most powerful thing of all. If you come from a point of love, that makes you quite powerful and you got to be happy. Happiness and enthusiasm is very contagious. The more we have, the more we spread. Here's what we're going to do first. As you know, this is the induction into the Hall of Fame. It's predicated on being here at least 10 times and raising X amount of dollars. This is a uh, jacket they give to people that are in the Hall of Fame. And I was lucky enough to be able to contribute for 10 years. And basically just a way to acknowledge that we are uh, dedicated to the cause and showing up and being here every year to, to support the officers. He shows up with brie cheese and pastry dough. <laughs> and a bunch of hardcore bikers like, buddy. what is that? And next thing you were eating it by hand. Right. Here's to Kareem, one of the most generous, noble guys I know. Yeah. And he's a little shaky. You got to watch him on and, the road. And, <laughs> and he has an ecologically friendly hotel. He has the largest ecologically friendly hotel maybe in the world for sure in South Dakota. It's really great, but he shut off the power. That's why. That's <laughs>
John Paul's always lived this way, and since I've known him, he's always signed his letters and corresponds to peace, love, and happiness. And it's a lifestyle. And you got a room full of people who drive across the world looking for that better lifestyle. And one day when you see somebody that you might have helped, or you see a first responder who now has a home, you get here and you realize why you do it, because you're making a difference. The next award goes to the Lifetime Achievement, and everyone must sign this basketball. Yeah. Bill Peplo! Yeah. And Pep is probably, what, 83 now? And he's a hardcore rider, rode like a 46 panhead from Connecticut to LA back in the 60s. Oh, yeah. Come on, Pep. I love you too. One thing that I learned when I went into the Navy at 17 years old was that we could take ordinary people like myself, and because of teamwork and getting together, we could achieve extraordinary results. You take your time, your money, your effort, and your energy to join us to have a good time, and the end result is we make the world a hell of a lot better place to live for a lot of people because we're all here. We ride together, we eat together, we party together, <laughs> and I split with your essence on me. Yeah. <laughs>
first step is yours. Whoever follows you belongs with you. And so we have to stay true to our mission, which is being good people and living that lifestyle. Peace, love, and happiness. Love and happiness, man. Peace, love, and happiness. Peace, love, happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, Willie Nelson. I'm Paul. This is Willie. Congratulations on all the things you're doing out there. You're doing some good stuff. Happy birthday, and here's a little song for you. Remember, we're a band of brothers and sisters and whatever, on a mission to break all the rules. I know you love me cause I love you too, but you can't tell me what to do. Go get them, John.